Disney World haul for you. We got back from Walt Disney World. It's been a couple of weeks now. In fact, when I just like pulled this stuff out, there was things that I purchased that I forgot about. Oopsie. <laughs> so we went to, we spent, I think we were there like 10 days. So we spent a couple days at Universal. Then we did the Galactic Star Cruiser. I already filmed a haul video on that, which I will link in the description box below. And then we stayed at the Polynesian and spent a couple days at Walt Disney World and did Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. So I filmed two different videos because I wanted to share the Star Cruiser merchandise separately, but this is my Walt Disney World haul with a few things that I got at Universal. So I'm not wearing any ears, and you know I bought some. So we'll start there. The first pair of ears that I got are these. These are like these retro um, Walt Disney World ears. It's kind of like the old logo there. Are they lounge fly? No. They say making magic on the side, um, they're plastic, I thought they were cute. I saw these at, I got these at Hollywood Studios, that was the only place that I saw them. I've seen them online a couple times, but I don't feel like they're super popular, like they're everywhere, so I will put those on. And then the second pair of ears that I got are these and I don't know if these are exclusive to Mickey's Not So Scary. I feel like they are but I could be totally wrong. I did purchase them during Mickey's Not So Scary and in the middle it says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I thought that they would be cute to wear at future Halloween parties or at home. I always wear, I have a couple pair of Halloween ears that I always wear on Halloween. I have a Halloween spare jersey from a couple years ago but I thought that those would be fun. Okay, next I got a dress, which is one of the things that I kind of forgot about, which kind of stinks because it's more of a summer dress, and it's fall here. So this is the dress that I got. It's probably really hard to see. It is, I got this at the um, Disney Style store at Disney Springs, and it's yellow and has flowers. I think that it's supposed to be like Belle. Although I say that and I see like a hidden, can you see the carriage, Cinderella's carriage in there? Right there. Is that showing up? Can you see that? So maybe it's not. I don't know. I thought it was Belle. It's just kind of like a mini, I don't want to call it a mini dress. It's just a little dress. It does have a lining. It feels like it's rayon and the lining is rayon as well. It has a nice like little cut. I don't know if it's something that I would wear in the parks because it, the material, I feel like you can't, it doesn't breathe, um, but I thought it would be cute to wear at home. It has a nice, like, cute little, I don't even know if it's coming out, like, it's just a cute little dress. I thought it would be cute with a jean jacket, and this was $69.99. Then, of course, I got some jewelry. I got a lot of jewelry on this trip. I feel like um, this was my birthday trip, so I kind of always get a lot of jewelry. I feel like the first thing I got was this ring. This was actually a replacement ring. I had this ring. I wore this ring on the trip, and I went to go throw something in a trash can, and, like, I, it was a cup, and I, like, pushed the cup in, and then it snapped really quick, and the, the ring broke. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there's the ring. Okay, there's the ring. It's silver and rose gold, and I love it. I wore it all the time, so I, I had to replace it. This ring was $24.99. I don't remember where I got this. I feel like I got it at Magic Kingdom, but I could be wrong. Nice. The next piece of jewelry that I got was Betsy Johnson with Disney. This is a necklace. If you've watched my videos before my haul videos, I have one just like this. It's a bumblebee, and I really didn't need this, but when I saw it, I had to have it. It is Mickey, and he is dressed in his 50th anniversary costume and his little arms move isn't he adorable and the chain has like a little bow up here I don't know if you can see that and then a little heart that says BJ for Betsy Johnson I've already worn this a couple of times with a blue dress I like to incorporate like Disney jewelry at home because Clearly, I love Disney, and so I like these kind of pieces that are not, they're are like a little bit dressier and not super casual, so love him. And then I got two Alex and Ani bracelets. Um, both of them I kind of had my eye on for a while. The first is a rose gold um, mini ear bracelet. I have another rose gold one, but this one has like pink ears. 
so I had to get that one and then I have this gold one and this is the 50th anniversary um, castle one which I've seen and I didn't purchase and then just decided this trip I needed it so you can see that the castle is like behind this glass and I love that this one it's very different than any of the other ones that I have Okay, so I got four Pandora charms on this trip. Technically, I only purchased two. Um, two of them were a gift while we were there. I celebrated my birthday, and my husband and son had purchased them a while back and brought them on the trip and given them to me. So I have four new Pandora charms. And I know I get a lot of questions to share my Pandora collection. The last video I made was a couple, probably 18 months ago, and I have a lot of more charms since then. That video is coming, It just I just need to sit down and film it, but in the meantime, I'll show you the charms that I got. It says, my happy place. It has the castle on one side and balloons. It says, my happy place on the other. And then they have a new Halloween charm this year, and on one side, it is a little ghost and says, boo. And on the other side, it is Mickey in a pumpkin. And it's a dangle charm, which is different than last year. They had the little pumpkin charm, which, by the way, is now available um, on the Pandora site. It was a Parks exclusive. It's not anymore. It's not available on the Pandora site. I'll link it down below because it's a super cute charm. I do have it. Uh, is it on this bracelet? No, it's on this bracelet. It's this one that says Boo. I think I got this either last year or the year before. And then the other two charms that I got for my birthday, I got the little Winnie the Pooh charm, the little Pooh Bear. My husband, I think, picked that one out. And then I also got the gold R2, is it R2-D2? I'm so bad at this. I think it is R2-D2. Um, to kind of just symbolize our um, Galactic Star Cruiser trip so his little legs and arms move so those are the charms that I got but look for an updated Pandora collection coming soon because I have another bracelet in the other room but yeah that's what I have okay now for like the big items so I got this did I need this absolutely not this is the 50th anniversary this might be our 2d2 and the other guy might be C-3PO, or is this C-3PO? Isn't that bad? I don't even know. Anyway, he is the 50th anniversary droid. I got him at World of Disney. He was very hard to find. I think that was the only place that we saw him. And he is rose gold and blue and gold. He matches the castle. Did I need this? Absolutely not. But I could not leave him. I had to have him. I shipped him home. And then... Here's the little controller that goes with him. So if you watched my Star Cruiser video, you know we got a droid there too. So we came home with two droids. So now we have a total of four droids. And But this guy is super special to me. Like this is my droid. This droid was the first droid that I've seen that was like he needs to come home with me. So there he is. And then my husband got this. So... I don't even remember what this is. This is the gauntlet, the Infinity Gauntlet. I think it's Iron Man's, and I've since seen they have a gold one, which is Thanos's. But this is it. It lights up. Maybe it doesn't. I have no idea. The fingers move. Um, I thought it lit up. It may. The battery may be dead on this because I know that my husband's like been playing with it. I think the battery's dead on it. But I think you push that to light it up. If you've seen my haul videos before, you know we have something else. Let me show it to you. We have this thing, which is like the drink holder, which was a lot cheaper than this guy. Um, but my husband and my son like to have drinks out of this. So, of course, we had to get this. This is like more of a collector's piece that's probably just going to sit on my shelf. But that's pretty cool. We got this at Epcot outside of Cosmic Rewind. Um... We just shipped it right home. We didn't even try to mess with it, um, and it came within about a week. But yeah, we have this now. <laughs> Next, my son is starting to, he has a jean jacket. He's starting to put patches and pins and stuff on it, and we got this. This was $19.99. This was um, at Disney Springs in the co-op, the, the vault store, I think it is. It's like a vintage little patch and it actually comes with, that's a pin that it comes with, so that's kind of cute. 
And then we did Remy's Hide and Squeak. We actually didn't finish it. It started pouring rain, and so once you buy the card, you can actually just turn it in. But we got this cup with Remy, and it's kind of iridescent-ish. We'd actually never done it before, so I'm glad that we did that. It was a lot of fun to go around the countries. We only made it to the UK, and then we're like, we're out of here. So we actually didn't miss that much, but we did enough of them. Okay, then back to Magic Kingdom and Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. We got, these are the bags. These are the trick-or-treat bags, which in years past, they've been like just a plastic, like a grocery bag, like thicker than a grocery bag. Um, but this year we got these, and it says... Mickey's not, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Let's boo this. On the side it says the 50th and it has this, the most magical celebration. So just my son and I went to Mickey's not so scary. My husband went to Halloween Horror Nights over at Universal and my son's too young to do that and I have no desire to do that. So we went to this and actually my girlfriend from here was there at the same time with her family um, doing Mickey's not so scary. So we did it together. And then I got this shirt. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, maybe you will. So this was like a party exclusive shirt. It has Mickey. He's kind of like in a Dracula kind of outfit. It says Magic Kingdom 2022. There's bats. On the side, it says pass holder. So this is a pass holder exclusive shirt. And then on the back, it says Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. So I thought that this would be cute. To wear at home, it's like a ringer tee three-quarter sleeves and it's kind of long so I'm excited about that and then this year as you left they were handing out these prints so we got two of them it says Mickey's not so scary Halloween party the 50th I'll take it out of here actually and I'm kind of excited about this actually because it has the Cinderella pumpkin carriage it also has the regular pumpkins the castle that it was super super cute I think I'm actually gonna frame this um, and probably put it up somewhere in my office because it's kind of exciting. Okay, so then on to Universal Studios. We didn't get a lot there on this trip. For my son's jean jacket that he's putting the patches on, we got this. This is a Fast and Furious garage patch, $7.95. We went to Volcano Bay on this trip and I needed, well, I didn't really need this, but I wanted to have like my credit card and my ID on me. Um, in case I wanted to have a cocktail because even though you can charge with your Tapu Tapu, you need your ID. So I got this little thing. It's not waterproof or anything. It's just like a little card case, which I'll probably end up using other places as well. It goes around your neck. It has a little little carabiner on there. So I got that. And next to my son got this. This is a little clapper. And I'm not really sure why he wanted it, but he was like obsessed about it. We had to go back and get it. And then we got it, and he was walking through City Walk. We were walking through City Walk back to our hotel, and he tripped, and he fell, and he fell on it, and he broke it. So I went back into the Universal store, and they just uh, replaced it for me, which was nice. And this was actually the last one. I don't remember how much this was, but it is, like, kind of a legit, like, clapper. So, and then finally, I got this. So not necessary. So had to have it. This is the Unicorn Minion Popcorn Bucket. Oh my god, isn't it adorable? I can't even believe they call it a popcorn bucket because there's not a lot of room for popcorn. I think this was like $25. We saw it everywhere. I ended up getting it the last night as we walked out and they were like, oh, you get free popcorn. You know, take it over. Well, I didn't get the free popcorn. But I just thought that this was absolutely adorable and I had to have it. And it has a little strap on there and it says Minions Summer. And I'm probably going to take this off of it and like stick it inside and then just put this up on my shelf. But the unicorn, like the whole thing, I just, I just had to have it. All right, that's my haul. I know it was kind of a lot. Tell me in the comments below which item that I got is your favorite. I'm going to say for me it's either the droid or the little uh, Betsy Johnson Mickey 50th anniversary necklace. Those are my two probably favorite pieces that I got, although you know I love my Pandora charms. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!